Who inspires me? I, I live with my mother and my grandmother and my sister, so um, I have this kind of beautiful generation of women that inspire me that I get to look up to and who raised me to be very opinionated and very strong. My mom always gives me amazing advice. Um, and we have our, our talks mostly in the car. She was driving me and one day she said, how you handle your disappointments is what defines you. And that just always stuck out to me. I've really got to work with so many incredible people growing up, um, especially a lot of you know, female directors. One where I really had a, you know, a bigger role was somewhere and that was led by Sofia Coppola. And from a young age, my version of a film set was being led by a woman, so that was completely not abnormal to me. My greatest role model, for a long time it was um, Nicole Kidman. She was kind of an actress that when I was young, oh, I'd always looked up to. She's very tall, um, and, and I grew very tall at a young age as well, and she's very unapologetically herself, but extremely kind. She's told me of, you know, in this business, you're playing a lot of characters a lot and going in and out of reality and it's a lot of you know pretend and make believe and so just to make sure that you also ground yourself and take time for when you are at home and you're not you know in these pretend worlds of dress up and, and fun which we love but that you really surround yourself with you know truth tellers who will tell you like it is and people that really care for you um, and, and kind of finding your tribe in a way. Ooh, um, Catherine the Great is an unbelievable character to play. She's probably <laughs> a little bit more courageous than I am. <laughs> Some of the things she does, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'd have the balls to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, she, uh, yeah, she's very courageous uh, and, and she's willing to take the risk, which I think I love a challenge, but sometimes I can be slightly afraid, but she really falls into that um, being afraid is not a weakness and embrace that fear. And I think we can all learn a little bit from her in that. Oh, whoa. In general, dead or alive, who would I like to meet? Or just anybody? Oh, God. Um, wow, I would really love to meet Stevie Nicks, actually. She is, uh, Fleetwood Mac is like my absolute favorite band. She is so, so cool. So I would just want to, I don't know, have dinner with her or just at least say hello, be in her presence. Be completely yourself and really try not to compare yourself to others. Everyone has their own troubles. Everyone is going through something and be compassionate towards that. And, um, and yeah, the, you can only, you know, you can only do your best. That's it. So try to find, you know, your uniqueness and what makes you different and maybe what you're insecure about is what is going to be the ticket for you and is the key to that. So play up your weirdness and your quirkiness and that's what I always kind of tried to do. So pinpoint that and, and, and play that up <laughs> and you'll succeed. <laughs> is that okay?